Working as a package handler for FedEx, let's talk about it. Let's start with the pros. And it's gonna be brief because I don't really have a lot of good things to say about this place. Pro number one, short hours. When you work as a FedEx package handler in the warehouse, you only gotta work like four hour shifts. Pro number two, you get to work with some ghetto staff. That might be a pro for some and a con for some. For me, it was fun because the conversations was what made work fun. I tried to tell y'all I didn't have a lot of great things to say. We are going straight to the cons now because I got a lot. Let's start off with my biggest con ever, okay? Con number one, my back, nigga! I stopped working at FedEx how long ago? It took a while for my back to recover from all of the back-breaking work they used to make me do in there. So when you work for FedEx, the way that it works is you come in in the morning at an early crazy hour, you have a truck, and you might have another person called an offloader. We're offloaders. It might be two, three people to a truck. But the thing is, when they see that you can handle your own work and they see that you can do your own thing, you will get abused. I'm telling you this right now. They notice I can hold my own. So they used to send me and do whole trucks by myself. I'm talking about a whole truck full of boxes, big, small, medium, large, humongous. Bro, some of the boxes was bigger than me. I'm like 5'7", the box is like 8 feet tall, I'm here like this, carrying some big ass box. And I gotta do a whole truck like that by myself because they see I can handle my own. A lot of times I would be in a truck with somebody and then they'll send them off and say I got it. They're like, no, 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 you can come help somebody else, he got this. What the fuck you mean I got this? I remember the first time I actually hurt my back at work because I was trying to pull the door to the truck and it was too much packages on it. So when I got low and pulled, I like, strained my back. And my supervisor's first response was, you're talking about back pain? I've been working here for three, four, five years. So what if my back hurts? Yeah, you sacrifice your back to this company, not me. Either way, if you're gonna work there, make sure you wear one of those back support thingies that you put around your waist. Once I got that, I was Gucci. At the end of the day, I still had to lay down with some icy hot on my back, maybe pop one or two Advils and take a nap. Con number two is they have a habit of cutting hours. There will be mornings where they will work you like a slave. They will work you so hard. You know you went over the four hour usual limit. But when you get your paycheck, it's the same. Every week is the same. Even though they like, yo, can you stay behind? We got like two extra trucks coming. It's getting five, six, seven hours later. You've been in the factory for mad long. Same paycheck. How? Then they had the audacity to offer you to work weekends. Nah, you cutting my pay. Why would I work for you more days? You're bugging. Con number three, the work hours and schedule is mad inconsistent, bro. Like one day, they'll tell you gotta wake up and be at the factory at 12 a.m. Next day is 1 a.m. Next day is 3 a.m. Next day is 2 a.m. And all of these hours suck. You see these bags under my eyes? That's because during the pandemic, I was going there five days a week, waking up in the middle of the a.m.s, barely catching the bus to get there, and working at 4 a.m., random hours in the middle of the night. You might as well not even go to sleep after your first job if you're about to work the next job at that time. Con number four, and this was one of the pros, working with ratchet people. Like, not everybody is built for that. I found it entertaining. It made work actually, like, worth coming to because the people, they was funny. They was cracking jokes. Then there was a little bit of drama. You know, sometimes people used to get into little altercations. You feel me? Even me, I got into altercation with some dude who was, like, six foot five. Dude is mad big talking about he want to pick up the boxes. Like, nigga, you mad big. You pick that shit up. I'm supposed to pick up all the boxes? No, you work with your big ass. Not to mention it's mad unprofessional, as you would call it. Like, there's a lot of people talk about sex. My manager used to come in there talking about eating ass while lifting boxes with all of us. So that might not be for everybody. I found it fun, but not everyone might like. And of course, the workers was fucking. There was a lot of people working together that was smashing. So, again, that might be a like a pro if you think about it. Yeah. Con number five. Sorry ass work food. I'm telling you, when you finished a long day of picking up boxes, picking up boxes, heavy ass boxes, lifting and throwing the boxes. They're like, don't worry, we provide staff with lunch, with a breakfast. You go get the breakfast, bro. Bro, they have a sandwich with one slice of bologna, one slice of cheese, and a mayonnaise packet. Put that shit on there by yourself with a little bag of chips. No Bev. Imagine all that work and then you come look at this, 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 this skimp ass, skinny ass sandwich 
that tastes like dirt. Mind you, it's one slice of, of meat, one slice of cheese, and it's not even on sliced bread. It's a whole roll. It's a dry ass roll with one slice of meat and one slice of cheese. How am I supposed to eat this? What, what do you take me for? What do you really take me for? Con number six, my last con and my least favorite. Honestly, working there, waking up at, at odd hours and then working there, then coming home and falling asleep to either go to my next job or go back to take an online class when the pandemic just started. Bro, I used to fall asleep and then not even know that I wasn't at work because the whole time I was sleeping, I dreamt about boxes, bro. I was literally dreaming about boxes going down the conveyor up into the rest of the factory. Boxes, boxes, boxes. I open my eyes in bed and be like, I'm not even at work. Like I was traumatized by boxes. So if you're gonna work at FedEx, just know all your dreams and aspirations will vanish and be replaced by the image of boxes. Little side note, there's somebody who was in the factory working there for about 25 to 30 years, old man. And he's over there handling the, the letters where the ladies be at, that's the small packages. And he's proud to announce that. And he's probably making what? In the high 20s, maybe $30 an hour, which is wow. But giving away your life, doing all this physical labor for these niggas, and that's what you have to show for it? That you still work in a factory? You ain't even move up the corporate ladder, nigga? I'm sorry, but I'm a proponent of the saying, work smarter, not harder. Now, some people might like just doing physical labor for a long period of time in life, but me personally, I'm not going to work for a company like that give them my back, knees, legs, and the rest of my body as a sacrifice so niggas get packages. I'm sorry. I just don't feel that way. That's not my motto. That's not my way of living, my Nindo way, bro. In conclusion, would I recommend working there? If you like physical labor and you like a job like that where they're gonna force your hours on top of physical labor, give you these cheap little snacks, have supervisors wanna rush you for time because if you finish early, they get paid more if you want to deal with all of that nonsense, then by all means, go for it. Go work in the FedEx warehouse as a package handler. But as for me, no man fee handle package. I'm done with that, and I ain't never going back to doing that shit.